By now, most of us working with AI or AI agents have probably heard of or used new standards like MCP or Model Context Protocol or A2A or Agent to Agent, which have emerged as building blocks of how agentic services operate together and communicate with tools and data. And now, Anthropic has added a new idea into the mix, one that has promised to become as important a standard of the agentic age, Claude Agent Skills. In this video, I'm going to share what agent skills are, how they work, and show you just how simple it is to get started using this new approach to simplify common business processes using Claude. And before we finish, I'm even going to touch on how those of us in the Microsoft technology stack can easily start leveraging these capabilities. So what are agent skills and what problems do they solve? If we think about the work knowledge workers do, there's normally a whole bunch of context beyond just a set of instructions that's involved. When we think about documented tasks or processes, there's generally some sort of ideal approach that's baked in, such as specific templates or best practices practice examples, or even step-by-step -step repeatable task components that build up the whole. Agent skills are a mechanism for us to bundle up all that instructive information for a specific task or process, to describe it to an AI system or agent, and then allow that tool to call up that knowledge or aspects of that knowledge at runtime in an effective way to act as a specialist for that particular piece of work. At the core of Agent Skills is a skill markdown file with a YAML header describing that skill. This is a set of instructions, just as we see across the AI landscape in agents or custom GPTs or anywhere else we do this kind of agentic customization. The differentiation point for agent skills is we can package other things with those instructions. So for example, you can have additional instruction files that drop down into specific parts of the process. But we can also reference other types of assets. For example, here we see an example of referencing a Python script to be run at a specific step in the PDF sub-instructions of the overall skill. But we can work with other file types too. For example, you could include a document template or a font or some examples alongside your instructions and your scripts. And your AI system itself can have available to it multiple agent skills at the same time that are loaded into a sort of working space virtual machine. And these skills sit together alongside other traditional tools like MCP servers that make up the overall range of capabilities your agent has. But because all these capabilities are loaded and available, but not driven by some huge system prompt that needs to be built to describe it all from start to finish at each run, it's highly token efficient. The agent understands the capabilities it has, but only loads the skills or the subcomponents of that skill into context to the point where the skill is needed. So you can drive a practically unlimited set of highly focused capabilities from a very sparse set of initial instructions and associated prompts. The file structure of your agent skill lives as a simple zip file that can currently be loaded either into Claude's chat interface or via its API. And these can go from simple single skill file instructions to multi-file and multi-directory, depending on the complexity of the skill you're looking to build. Anthropic has helpfully shared a bunch of agent skill examples so we can understand them better. Let's consider a couple at different ends of the spectrum of complexity. So about as basic a skill as you can get is the brand guidelines skill. This is just a short and simple set of instructions describing Anthropic's brand. But the key here is that this can be made available to your agent and all that is loaded into context until it is needed is the description at the top. So the agent understands what it can do, but it doesn't consume tokens on actually knowing the details until it needs to. At the other end of the complexity spectrum is the skill creator skill. This is actually a skill that Anthropic has built to help us build our own custom skills. This includes comprehensive instructions, along with some Python scripts that can be loaded to facilitate this work. Let's try out the skill builder to see how these skills work. But before we do, if you're finding this video useful, please give it a like, leave a comment letting me know what helped you the most, and get subscribed. And if you need more help with understanding these kinds of issues, consider getting in touch. I help small and medium-sized businesses around the world with adopting AI tools, including Microsoft 365 Copilot, but also other platforms like Claude. I'd love to learn what you're planning and let you know how I can help. 
information to get in touch and find out more are down in the description. In Claude, I'm in settings and looking at the capabilities screen. Here we have a list of all our available skills, including any we've created and uploaded. I'm going to turn on that skill creator skill, and once I have that turned on, I can try it in chat. I already asked Claude to give me a few ideas for some skills for this demo, and I quite like this suggestion of turning a URL into a PDF for archive, so we'll give this a go. It takes a long while to build the skill, so we'll speed things up a little, but you can see that it understands the request, decides that it has a relevant skill, at that point it reads the content of that skill into context and starts working. It then generates the content that will be part of the skill, the skill markdown file, associated scripts and examples, and packages them all together. In this example, it incorrectly turned the skill zip file into a .skill file instead, but once I downloaded it, I just had to change the file extension and everything was there and worked as you'd expect. In Visual Studio Code, we can see that the structure it's created and the content of the various files. We can then take the associated zip package, upload it through the same capabilities screen in Claude, and using a URL from my own website, we can give it a go. Again, it loads the skill and runs through the process, taking a few minutes and then presenting a PDF back with the content of the page. Claude has been pretty successful in building a skill that could be reused in this way. I have one more scenario I want to look at, but I'd also really like to hear your ideas on how you're using, intend to use, or would like to explore using agent skills for your work. Drop your ideas down in the comments and let me know your progress so far. Let's consider another potential scenario that came to mind for me. I have to create agreements for my consulting services. These are largely based on a template with some variable fields, but there are sections that vary depending on the type of services that are being sold, and some clients want to inject specific changes or clauses into these agreements. I want to be able to take a set of intake notes that largely captures these specifics, inject that content into an agreement template automatically, and present all that content up as a track changes version of that template Word document so I, or my legal counsel, can review the content easily before approving it to be executed. Can I build a solution to do this with agent skills? So, not to share my private client information, I've had Claude create a set of example documents for this scenario. For example, this template agreement, and then some example sets of intake notes. I've then built out a skill with the help of Claude to demonstrate this use case, bearing in mind that working with docx files is now part of the first party anthropic created skills, so I don't need to reinvent the wheel and teach Claude how to deal with those documents in my own skill. I load up the skill and run it using one of the example intake documents. And it takes a while, a long time of going back and forth between the different tools it has access to. I wonder how much of this is down to instruction optimization and giving it exactly the right tools though. For example, it seems to struggle a little with the track changes aspect of the request in terms of execution. But after many minutes of processing, it does indeed output a track changes version of the original agreement. It's not perfect, but it's also something I've spent maybe 10 minutes building. To get this far with other tool sets would likely take me much longer. So even with a few wrinkles, I'm sure many of you are looking at these examples and thinking about a whole new world of possibilities. One of the really exciting things about agent skills is they aren't just a capability I can load into Claude Chat, but I can also address them via the Claude API with a request such as that shown here. I've spoken here before about choosing to leverage the Claude API from Power Automate for certain document automation. So imagine a workflow where we go directly from a Teams meeting to its transcript that has all the project detail in it, to the automated creation of intake notes, to the automated creation of an outline agreement, to document approval and then to e-signature, all without having to type anything. You might be sitting there and thinking, well, Nick, why is this any different to the document template output option? We now have the custom AI prompts in AI Builder or Copilot Studio. And that's a really good question. And for certain tasks, there is equivalency. 
But the reason I'm excited about agent skills is this concept of as needed addressability of the instructions. I can template a document in a prompt no problem, but dealing with variability for different scenarios requires logic outside of that prompt, especially when the template itself or how it's filled out changes. There are also core word features like track changes, which we can now work with directly in Claude, but are conspicuously missing from Microsoft's own implementation of AI tools working with the Word file format. With agent skills, we can package these variable paths together as one all-encompassing representation of a process, using all those tools that we have available and with all the pitfalls you might see along the way. This feels like a much more reasonable way to think about many business tasks than the all or nothing fit we largely have with Copilot Studio agents and prompts. However, we can easily build these things together and get the best of both worlds if we're happy to use currently external services like the Claude API. And with the recent announcements about Claude coming to Copilot and being able to address Claude models directly from Copilot Studio, I do feel pretty enthusiastic that just like MCP and A2A, this will be a new standard that we might see coming to Microsoft Stack. I think this is extremely exciting, especially for those who live in the low-code space like myself, and I certainly intend to keep working through that agreement creation example I've shown you here with an eye to getting it to something I can use day to day in my own business. Are you excited about agent skills? Let me know your thoughts and whether you want to see these capabilities come to Microsoft's Toolstack down in the comments. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.